I'm a buddy, Alan Johnson. Y'all give him a call if you got mold or crack foundation or whatever. Give him a call, 221-4608. Highly recommend y'all give him a call. Allied Services, they'll come out and take care of anything you got for a safer, healthier home. Give Alan a call, 221-4608. And that leads me to the next segment. Does. What are you talking about today, dlaudernail.com? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm going to start doing my own trivia questions if I go over. How many did you ask me today? Well, see, nobody's okay. allowed to ask me questions because it's Why is my that, show. Is that what happens when it's your show? Yes. <laughs> oh. Now, last week, I think you guys failed, you and your dad failed to show up at the bank at the appropriate time <laughs> for the transfer papers of Jamie Cooper Television. I did get a text from my wife as I left that said, <laughs> we not. didn't buy a TV station, did we? And oh, I said, no, there's you're a... getting closer and closer. I said, no, but because there's a slight problem. We don't have that money. Yeah. And there was a fire. <laughs> well, yeah, that was the other part that made it a little yeah. tough. So, uh, oh, today we're going to talk about uh, how to apologize. I'm real good at that. Are you really? <laughs> Just from practice? No. I ain't never been good at that. Who is? I apologize for nothing. Why not? What have I done? I, huh? I, I don't know. Well, I think I we need know. to ask what Gloria. You apologize about what? Why is it we don't like to apologize? Because we don't want to admit we're wrong. Hey. One of the funniest things, did you ever watch Happy Days when we were all yeah. kids? Do you remember Ponzi's word he couldn't say? Yeah. Wrong. Wrong? Yeah, there was a couple of episodes that were hilarious. He just falls all over himself trying he to say, say... He was wrong. He and you watched a lot of TV wrong. when you were a kid, didn't you? Well, that's what you did, right? <laughs> yeah. You I love TV. I watch a bunch now. That's why I ain't working. <laughs> yeah, because you went through all 190... I'm television. You went through all 196 channels of your cable, that's didn't right. you? When you first got up on Mr. Ed. He called if it I, working. If I ain't watching me from 30 years ago, there ain't nothing really good on. You know, oh I didn't even think about it that way. You should just do that. It should be the programming here from wall to wall. It's nothing but... Well, we've done that before. How'd that go, Frank? <laughs> Country <laughs> road for... Ratings didn't home. work out like you needed them to. Ah, uh, what ratings? <laughs> oh, that's right. I forget. I can't even find my way out of church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Why do we Anyway, so it's, it's hard to do. Yeah. And then even when we do it, we don't do a very good job of it. Most of the time, we so stop. how are you supposed to do it? Three now, who are you talking about apologizing to? Anybody. It doesn't matter if it's a, a family relationship, if it's a friend relationship, or even if it's a business relationship. And this just got reminded to me this past weekend, I moved my daughter to school. Had a little problem with the TV that I bought from a retailer in Florence who shall remain nameless. Took it back, unboxed it. They had sold me one that had been returned. Uh -oh. Did they know it? Uh, they did when I took it back and told them. Oh. <laughs> they said they didn't know it, but I don't know, but I knew it was uh, been returned because the, the batteries were already in the remote and there was no power cord. <laughs> yeah, that's a giveaway. Kind of a good one, right? Kind of a giveaway. So I go back in there, tell the guy, you sold me something that's already been returned. And if he had done these three things that I'm about to tell you, he just did, they would still have a customer. But he didn't, that's so I said just... Ugly. Yeah, I said just give me my money back and I walked down the street to Target and bought a TV from them. Ah, okay. Because we You're just, trying to do business with a local person. I'm sorry? You're trying to do business with a local person. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, trying to do business in you Florida. You it down. Out, didn't you? Yeah, and um, it, just, it just went bad. So these steps work no matter what the circumstances are. So three parts to an apology. Part one, you say, I'm sorry. That's where most people stop, though. Let me just go and tell you I'm sorry because I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Well, just hold on. I'm going to help you. <laughs> We're going to get the rest of it in. There's a few more steps to it. The very few times that we have had altercations, you are very quick to say I'm sorry. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah, you are. Don't act like you're all big you're and bad. Lying. When, when you, you point it out to him that he's messed up. She ain't pointing nothing out to me. I'm in charge. Are you really now? <laughs> How's that, go, Frank? how's that going for you, Jamie? That just sounded real good. I mean, how, how's that going for you? Ear. That just sounded real good. Brad, Boy, uh, good we'll get you off camera, today. and Gloria and I will have an interview, Sorry. and we'll find out really who's in charge. How about that? I'm going to need an intervention for this interview. So, we're going to go ahead. <laughs> so you start with, I'm sorry. But the problem is, too many people say it. Flippantly. Yeah, and they're not sorry they did it. They're sorry they got caught. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's the reason you go to the second part of this, which is you tell them, it's my fault. There you go. <laughs> Try to get personal. Well, you know, I'm an old preacher. That's what I do, right? You just, you always do that kind of stuff. But I'm real bad about wanting to say, it's my fault, but. 
Ah, or explain why you did it anyway. Or explain why somebody else made, made me do, do it. it. <laughs> or somebody well, else contributed to the situation. Okay. Right? So when I went to take that TV back, if the guy had said, I'm sorry, and it's our fault. Right. He didn't say that. He said, we're supposed to be always right. That's Apparently not true. Not no, it ain't true. It's better than TV. If you owe me, you ain't right. <laughs> there you go. See? But he didn't. He said, I'm so he did say, I'm sorry, but then he said, yeah, sometimes that happens and we just miss it. Well, that's not owning what they did wrong, right? That was putting it off on somebody else. Well, if somebody's apologizing to me, I don't really care about all this other said, stuff that you... let me get you, you a new one. Right. That's... That's number three, because the part three of this is, you tell them, what can I do to make it right? Hmm. So, I'm sorry, it's my fault, and what can I do to make it right? And nobody does part three anymore. No. What can no, I do to make it right? But think about a business person, if, they, uh, if you had a store or a restaurant or whatever, and somebody came in, had a bad experience, something went wrong, and you told them those three things, only a jerk wouldn't come back and shop with you again. And I remember when I was in college a hundred years ago that we were talking to a district manager from Cracker Barrel and he was talking about things they do for customer service and he said, if anybody comes to us and says they didn't like their meal, they don't pay. Frank, how many times have you eaten at Cracker Barrel this week? <laughs> Just once. Just once. He can't repeat it every day. And you paid. <laughs> and, he, and the guy said, even if they've eaten 90% of their meal, they don't pay. Well, now that you just really? told everybody that, everybody's going to head over. Go to Lost Cracker, Cracker Barrel, Tom. Well, I mean, I'm trying to help them out. I'm a public service, you know, and I, I give all kinds of advice. So that's what they do. They say, it's, I'm sorry, it's our fault, and what can we do to make it right? We're going to give you your meal. And that's now, why. Do you know what you're supposed to say today? Somebody needs to, I'm going to blame somebody for me getting lost at church. <laughs> that was all you. They got signs all over the place, Jamie. Well, I didn't I'm going to I'm gonna call Dusty and get him to put some arrows in there for you or put a little homing beacon on you <laughs> so, so Gloria GPS can find there. you the next time I you get lost. I need a GPS is what I need. Yeah, to get a GPS. They need to offer a nap or something down there. <laughs> That's a big place. Or just, you know, get us. How about a private escort? How about that? Dusty can just escort you around the place. Maybe they try and tell me something. Well, at least, you can, at least they let you back in. Well, nobody at the door. I kind of snuck out. I guess nobody was using that door I came in. Well, you just got to remember that door to get back He's in, right? He's got books available and everything else, too. Good you books. can all, if you need him to come to speak to you, call me first. I'll take my commission out and we'll send him on over your way. <laughs> yeah, 10% of nothing is still nothing. Yeah, do you right. go and speak like that? I do. I do. Yeah, I've done rotary clubs and churches and football teams, uh, all kinds of stuff. I've done college teams for chapel, high school teams, just whatever. And love doing it. Coaches. Uh -huh. I mean, a couple of things. I'm going to do another Dear Jamie. I just happen to have this one today. Just happen to have right it. Not, kind of not what we're talking about today. you don't want to talk about apologizing anymore. You want to move on past that, right? <laughs> I'll let you know how that the goes apologize today. apologizing ain't something that's in my repertoire here, you know. <laughs> that, being humble, <laughs> all those <laughs> things that kind of just, go with that. It just that. didn't work yeah. out. Okay. <laughs> just, you know. But, but at least uh, we tried. I didn't get where I am today telling people I'm sorry for what I've done in the past. How'd that work? You would be doing it all day. How'd that work in court for me, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's my dear Jamie. He said you're up here, so I want to do this. Okay. It says, uh, this is kind of up your alley, baby. Up uh, mine? Yeah, it says, uh, dear Jamie, baby. I'm married to the love of my life. I can't like imagine baby. loving a man more than I love him. Aw. And I know he feels the same way about me. Aw. Problem is, He's always telling stories about things he's done. <laughs> Gloria, why did you write to him? Huh? Gloria wrote this, obviously. Including, in graphic detail, all the stuff it's about him. I've heard all them repeatedly, yeah, and I'm, quite frankly, D sick of them. <laughs> when I tell him, fine, I won't talk to you anymore. When I tell him this, he tells me, I'm just not going to talk to you anymore. Then he'll get stuck, and he'll say, uh, he said all he wants to talk about is his past, not our future. How can is it, when, when he never talks about our past, or present, or future, just his past and what he's done. <laughs> How can I get him to stop reliving oh my the good old oh, days the glory and days. start focusing on our life together? Dear Dee, tell me, what do I need to do? 
Gloria, how have you done this? How have you how have you broken Jamie of this? You the one you you need to teach us how to do this. I mean, how, how, how have you done this? it this morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Talking about you. It's always about me. What about that can you not understand? There is a special place for me in heaven. I just know it. Because it's his show. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I always talk about me. No, but. I'm not. <laughs> what was it, number two? Look at his name. Look at his name. It's my fault. His car. Huh? It's my oh, fault. Oh, yeah. Here's my name I'm putting on my new business card. The country rover, superstar, local TV icon, and legend, Jamie Cooper. The man who says he gets lost at church. <sighs> no. Now, what was number two? Number one, it's my fault. It's number, my fault. It's my it's fault. It's my fault I live such a good life before you. <laughs> <laughs> and had all these wonderful experiences. What was number three? <laughs> Well, no, what got, can I do to make it right? What can I do to make it right? You do can't. I need to take you with me and relive some of these stories and places I've been? Hang me now. <laughs> oh, now you don't like the country <laughs> rover. Huh? Is that it's what you're a saying? good thing I knew nothing about you until I... <laughs> yeah, there he is right there. Look at him back in That's the right. day. Look at that. Back in the in day. I make her sit there and watch him every Monday when He's I'm like, like, Look, look, look you remember that? You remember <laughs> so, that? Do you, if we go to your house, is there a cabinet that we open up and there's just yeah. rows and rows and rows of is. country rovers in there? As a matter of fact, there is. Yeah, and you just go through there and pick one out and remember. When you come over to my house, oh, are you in for it? There's pictures of me all over. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. It's Mark Moody came through my came over once. He said, "This ain't it. Mark, you know, big this real estate guy, with Mark Marbeck over there." And Mark came through. And he says. This ain't a house, this is a museum of you. <laughs> I said, thank you. Can we not get it down to just one room? Huh? Can you not have just a Jamie room in well, the there house? There it is, there. there's a picture there, yeah. He's even got it here. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I know it's all about branding, but. No, it's all about me. <laughs> yeah, I know well, Jamie's you know the, the brand. brand Maybe but... that's why I ain't been more successful in life, because the only brand I got is me. I'm the humble one. It ain't sure ain't me, I can tell you that. <laughs> Y'all know me, <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, okay, that's number three again, it was, I'm sorry. Number two is, it's my fault. And number three is, what can I do to make it right? What can I do to make it right? Oh, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> DLauderdale.com, y'all get in touch with him. Maybe I'll get me a homing device or something down at Lindsay oh, Lane. Gonna get we'll see. Hey, don't forget, Joseph has moved to Fridays now. Uh, tomorrow stay, we'll man. do coaches, and Bill Matthews will be with us, filling in for <laughs> Shut Up, who's in Alaska. Shoot, well, three football weeks tomorrow. Quiet. See y'all. <laughs>